Oh, man. I don't know what it is, but those two just absolutely hate each other as Lee Andrews. One, He's got a pin right here. Oh, almost. And, man, of course, I'm so looking forward to Reformation Aftershocks CPB. I mean, of course, we know Ashley Dunn will be facing Ace Reed as Lee Andrews with that neck breaker. And Steve Farrell will defend the BYU Championship in a steel cage against MT Wallet. And Lee Andrews, look at this, the tarantula. And, and somebody appears to be bloodied here. I think it's Alex Olsen. And man, of course, at Reformation, hopefully it's going to finally be settled. Shadow MC, the Avenging Angel, and the scam artist, Hoovy. They will finally settle things, hopefully, in that unsanctioned matchup. Man, I cannot wait to see that, fans. But right now, this is Vendetta. This is Overdrive's time to shine. And this could be something big for one of these two young stars right here. What a flying DDT there from Alex Olsen. But Alex Olsen spent so much energy kicking out of repeated pins and add to the fact that he's bloodied from the face down. He's... Although... Oh! Huracan Rana and that volley of right hand. I mean, where is Alex Olsen getting a second win from? Ah! Oh, leg drop right across the chest and across the throat. And he's got it hooked right here. There's two. No. What a great way to open things up here at Vendetta. Ah, oh, neck breaker there. Lee Andrews is in the blink of an eye. Dropped the neck breaker there on Alex Olsen. And Lee Andrews, what's he doing here? Wow! Elbow drop! And Lee Andrews, the cocky young man from the state of Texas. Russian leg sweep there on Alex Olsen. I will admit, Lee Andrews is impressive. It's just that he's as cocky as all hell. And oh man, we've seen this before! DDT off the friggin' turnbuckle! Right onto his damn head! Oh, that is just sick! And Lee Andrews with a cover! Forget about it, it's over! Man, impressive victory there by Lee Andrews. I gotta applaud this. I gotta applaud him on this one. I hate his attitude, but... He really tore it up in there, but I gotta give just as much to Alex Olsen. Oh, but tonight just wasn't Alex's night. Lee Andrews with the victory to open things up here. And we understand Sam Weston is standing by backstage with the World Heavyweight Champion, CJ Hawkins. Well, the World Heavyweight Champion, C.J. Hawkins, certainly emitting a lot of confidence. I'll tell you what, he's got that aura. He says he's going to introduce Vincent to his own blood and to a whole new finisher instead of the pedigree. But man, it's Ash Draven heading towards the ring right here. Man, I'll tell you what about Ash Draven. I don't know what his problem was. He came in several weeks ago 
And this whole thing between him and Wrath just kind of sparked. I mean, Ash Draven in his first match, which was against Wrath, getting a shocking submission victory. But then the next week, Wrath defeating Draven via pinfall. And then the next week, Ash Draven jumps Wrath after he's had a match. As we see the European champion himself heading towards the ring. And the week after that, Wrath defeating Jack Fox for the European title. And this match was booked. So this is pretty much Ash Draven and Wrath's rubber match. And now the, the European Championship is on the line here. And man, I'll tell you what about Wrath. He's been here since BYU's inception. He hadn't won any gold for, for, the, for that whole time. And now he's the European Champion. And he certainly seems to be getting more popular with the BYU fans. Referee holds up the belt here. This match is for the European title. Referee's got to keep these two apart. He calls for the bell. This thing is on. Draven tried to use a headlock, turns it into a hammerlock, and then an ah! Uh, block of the waist lock there by Wrath. And Wrath, we've seen this before. Ah! The big knee going right into your gut. Just imagine it. And then Wrath's big leg coming down across your throat. Or how about Wrath's big right and left hands? Uh. And man, what we just heard from CJ Hawkins. I mean, he's ready for Vincent. There's no doubt about it. But you gotta remember, things have been a little, di things are a little different since Dynasty. I mean, in all honesty, no disrespect to the champ, but I think this is a bit of an uphill battle for him. Man, that's, ah! Oh! Ash Raven with that sidewalk slam off the top rope. But he got tripped up for his troubles by Wrath. Ah! Oh. I mean, Wrath could be sort of considered a veteran here at BYU. Ah! Oh, pile driver right on the outside. And now he's got this young up and coming guy, Ash Draven. And just challenging him right here. What a underhook suplex. And man. Wrath, always one of the more imposing figures here at BYU. I mean, seriously, that guy gives me the creeps every time I see him. And Ash Draven right here. He was just working over, over the arm of Wrath. Ash Draven, very. Oh wait a minute! Oh my God! What a moon salt! A moon salt! He just pulled that out of his bag of tricks out of nowhere. That's a bit of a surprise. The usually more technically adept Ash Draven bringing out a high risk move. Going right back to work on the arm. And you can hear the fans right there chanting, You're not cool at Ash Raven. <coughs> oh, and he just sends Wrath over the top rope. Ah! Crossbody plancha there from 
from Ash Draven.